doing this again. I can't do this again. I can't relive Shark Exorcist again. You're out of your mind. I'm not caught. We can't do Shark Exorcist again. I can't do Shark I can't. No. No, you can't make me. You can't make me. The So Bad It's Good movie genre has become somewhat of a popular niche in the past decade or two. Amateur filmmakers are able to bring about their stories and ideas with some dedication, but the end result is always a bit spotty. From this, the genre found a footing. Some are done intentionally bad with great effect and come off as just a good time. Some, not so intentionally. Yet there's a certain edge to them you can enjoy. They can live in your head rent free. Our movie today takes this genre by the balls and says, hell is real and we're living in it right now. Enter Shark Exorcist. Now, don't get me wrong. To be fair to it, it is an experience. It's an enigma waiting to be found. It's that question that hits you on those cold, dark, lonely nights, whispering into your ear. You'll never know what I truly am. I've watched this movie three times in its entirety, and you don't watch Shark Exorcist for the fun of it. You watch it for the madness that it is. Here are some notable scenes. People randomly puking on each other. This woman, is she a child? Is she a mentally deficient child? A mentally deficient woman? This girl, in the bloody paddling pool with her, I believe she's possessed by a demon. But I think that demon is supposed to be the shark, who is also possessed by Satan. How can the shark possessed by Satan possess a random woman? Am I actually watching a porno? Why did this guy take loads of pictures of this woman sunbathing, then just drive off with no consequence? And then the poor girl gets eaten by the demon shark. Why? Why is that the path they followed? It haunts me so much. I don't know if I can recommend this movie to you, or if I can't. It's truly an experience that will live with you. But do I want other people to suffer that burden? I'll let you decide. Stay safe and ignorant, or follow that little whim that pulls you into its confusing, gnashing jaws.